Welcome back fuckers. All right, today we're gonna to go through the next piece of the puzzle of the case one recovery, which is the holding pattern. All right, so we've, in the previous video, we've got ourselves configured, ready to go. We're right at the 10 nautical mile mark. So we're at powdered altitude, which is 2000 feet. We're at uh, 250 knots and we're cruising in towards the aircraft carrier. So let's read again from the super carrier operations guide. <clears throat> holding pattern, the overhead holding pattern is a left-hand pattern with point one located directly over the carrier and points two, three, and four in 90 degree increments. So point two's in front, point three to the side, point four to the aft. Okay, so you've got a circle, a left-hand circle pattern you're gonna fly. All aircraft must remain within five nautical mile of the carrier and no lower than 2,000 feet. So because we're the first one into the stack, we'll be at 2,000 and then they will, uh, as more aircraft enter the pattern or the holding stack, they will uh, be offset by a thousand feet. So the next one will be at 3000, 4000. So there'll be kind of layers for deconflictions when have aircraft crashing into each other. Uh, cool. So this holding pattern is often referred to as the stack. All aircraft must remain five meters a mile and no longer 2000. Just read that any climbs must be accomplished between points one and three. And any descents must be accomplished between points three and four. So if you're climbing, up to a different altitude you want to do your climb on the uh, the front side of the circle and then if you want to descend down to land on the carrier you do it from point three to point one okay while holding the flight will remain at max conserve fuel flow unless briefed otherwise aircraft and overhead holding will stagger their intervals to ensure equal spacing from all flights at the same altitude if there are two total flights they should be 180 degrees apart Three flights, three, yeah, three flights should be 120 degrees apart, four flights would be 90. So if we had multiple flights, so we'd have one, say we were at point one, we'd have to have the other flight would be at point three, so we're at 180 degrees separation so we don't crash into each other if we're at the same altitude. So that is that, okay? So when you enter the, uh, the holding pattern, all right, you want to enter it from the outside of a turn. So doesn't matter what direction you're coming in from you want to either fly past on point one fly past on point two fly past on point three or five fly past on point four okay so you want to enter the holding pattern on a turn so we're going to be coming in on point one so that that way you can just get yourself ready to go into it sweet all right so that is that let's go ahead and have a look at how it's done Okay, so we're going to come out of active pause now. So remember, we've still got throttle lock on, and we're still at 2,000 feet, and we're just cruising on in. So we're at uh, within 10 nautical mile almost. We're going to check in, see you at 10. So as soon as we get to 10 nautical mile, go ahead and press that. Two, one, and within 10 mile, we're going to check in with mother. See you at 10. Update state, switch down. 209, state 6.1. Alright, so all we've done essentially is we've switched our, uh, our radio from Marshall to Tower now. It's all done automatically, but they would do it. Uh, the, the pilots in real life would do the old switch changes, radio switches, and all the rest of it that they need to to get to tower. And now we're gonna be talking to tower, okay? We've updated our fuel state, 6.1, because we've been dumping fuel. All right, if you look at our fuel load now, 32,800, and we're about to hit bingo, and our fuel dump will turn off automatically. If you watch there. Bingo. Fuel dump off. Bingo. Hit that bingo. Lovely. All right, so now we're just gonna keep cruising in 2,000 feet, 250 knots. As soon as we get within three nautical mile of the aircraft carrier, our next radio uh, call will be automatically done. So you can see our aircraft carrier is the lead one. So we've got the uh, the Stennis, which is the basic aircraft carrier, um, not the super carrier. That's that guy there. And our one is the one in front, okay? So we're 6.9 nautical mile. We're going to be landing on the, the lead aircraft carrier. So as we get closer, within three, our next radio command will kick in. 
and I'm also just going to turn off that uh, timer there because it annoys me. So to turn that off if you don't want it on, on your HSI, press Time UFC and then click ZTOD. Okay, ZTOD will make it disappear. Done. Less shit on the HUD, the better. It's going to sweeten the, uh, the turn up here. Touch. So we want to fly, remember, on down the starboard side, the right side of the uh, the aircraft carrier at 2,000 feet. We are just cruising on in. Getting ready to land. So once we get to three, remember our next radio command will automatically kick in. Tower 209, overhead angels 2, state 5.9. All right, so we've checked in tower 209 overhead, angels 2 state 5.9. They're going to tell us the next uh, thing we need to know, which is... All right, pause there. So tower, roger, BRC349. So they confirm the, uh, the base recovery course with you. And then it says signal is Charlie. So when you get signal is Charlie, uh, it means you can land. Okay, so we can... We are cleared to land. We've got the first clearance. If you're following radio procedures, no one else can come and land before us because we've been cleared first. If there was another another flight or another aircraft in the stack with us, they would check in. Once they got to three nautical mile, they'd be waiting, all right, for the signals, Charlie. So this is where the holding pattern comes on into play. So I'm going to unpause now. So as soon as we get to one nautical mile. We're just going to do a holding pattern as if we didn't have signals, Charlie, as well, by the way. Okay, so you can see the tack end there. As soon as we get to right alongside the ship, we're going to go ahead and enter a left-hand 30-degree bend at 250 knots. It's flying right over the top now, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. And we're over the top. So now we're going to go into our left hand 30 degree bank. So when you're in autopilot, it will hold the angle of bank. And if you keep 250 knots at 2000 feet with your uh, barometric altitude hold on, it will keep you within 5 nautical mile. Because remember, we can't go any further than 5 nautical mile away from the ship in the holding pattern. So as we get to point number two so when these two dots are directly below our uh, our velocity vector we will be remember that circle point one's at the carrier point two point three point four point five uh, point one again so we've gone through point two now and we're just going to keep on cruising hold that 30 degree angle of bank all right this is what you do until you get the signals charlie call as we come through we're going to be entering when the uh, two dots on the left side of our velocity vector will be at point number three of the circle and watch our range here we haven't exceeded five nautical mile which so we're well within the bubble of the carrier of the holding pattern so we're at uh, point number three now and we'll just keep our turn to cruising around so you might have to uh, shallow out your turn a little bit as you come around, depending on the speed the aircraft carrier is going at. You may have to like adjust so that you fly back around on the uh, point one again. So just keep that in mind. You can't just leave it on uh, 30 degrees forever. You may have to adjust and shallow the turn out or steepen it up. We'll see how we go. Remember when you get the signal with Charlie, you'd hook around. When you get to position number three, that is when you would commence your uh, your descent down and begin your initial initial pattern flying to land on the aircraft carrier. I'm going to shell out the turn here because we're coming in a little bit too sharp. Ranking back on. You kind of just play it by feel. Getting back to position number one, roll ourselves out. 
And once we fly over the top, we just do it again. Rinse and repeat until you get from tower, signal as Charlie, and then you can go ahead and commence your landing. All right, cool, so that is how you do a holding stack, and you just repeat until you get that radio call from the tower. All right, so remember, come in 10 nautical mile, uh, make sure you say see you at 10, so you set up the next radio uh, commands, and then position one is right next to the carrier, position two is in front of the circle, position three to the uh, beam the ship, position four is after the ship. So you get a five mile circle to the left of the aircraft carrier, and you just keep flying around until you are clear and on the next one we're going to go through uh the next part which is breaking the deck and coming around and starting on the initial pattern Alrighty, guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit the like button on the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the youtube channel helps me out a bunch and lastly but not least come on by check me out on twitch i stream on monday to friday at 1300 australian western standard time and uh yeah come in and say good day hang out, ask any questions you got live, and have some fun. Alrighty guys, catch you fuckers on the next one.